Hello everyone and welcome to the Guna Factory. So there's some interesting news stories out today that I want to discuss but I also want your opinions on them so let me know what you think as well. So I've picked out two that I think we can have an interesting discussion on. The first one's about Tomiyasu being out of the team for even longer now because of course Japan have qualified for the next round of the Asia Cup and the story reports that Arsenal may be forced into the transfer market for defensive reinforcements. So what's my thoughts on this? If I'm being totally honest, I don't actually believe these reports. Because if Arsenal are, are going to make a move in the transfer window, it would have happened already. But as we know, we are standing so close to that FFP line that even if we wanted to, I think we're going to struggle to bring in reinforcements. We have so many positions in that Arsenal team that we need to bring personnel in for. But the fact that we're struggling so much with FFP is just evidence to me as to why we haven't done it already. You know, if we could bring in players, Arteta, I'm sure, would want to bring in central midfielders, defenders, strikers, of course, but we're having to operate so frugally just to get through this financial term. That's what I believe anyway. So I think Arsenal will make moves in the summer, but I think we're just going to have to deal with what we've got until that happens. This January transfer market, I would be very surprised if Arsenal go in for any big deals. I don't think this is the market for that. And I think that's reflected if you're looking at the whole Premier League's figures in this January transfer window. We're like sixth down the table in terms of league spending for the January transfer window. Now we know historically the Premier League are always the biggest spenders, but I think FFP is really gathering some teeth now and clubs are starting to realize that they can't just be splashing the money willingly. But do I expect Arsenal to bring in any deals at all? I mean, I think that Arsenal are going to have to operate like it has been reported, which is just waiting for chances. I think Arsenal can do a deal, and I think they will do a deal. I think inevitably we're going to end up bringing in one player. I don't think it's going to be a big name. I would be surprised if the fee was to exceed £20 million, for example. But I think there is some manoeuvrability in terms of personnel that Arsenal can bring in. And that leads me into our second story, because... I've seen a report that Arsenal are interested in bringing in the player Ezequiel Fernandez from Boca Juniors. So this is an Argentinian player. He plays in the Argentinian league and the cost for the player is reported to be around £13 million. Now, I think Arsenal should definitely be looking at a deal like this. I think the reason this deal has come onto Arsenal's radar is because we know recently we signed that scout from Real Madrid and he does operate in the South American market. This is a South American player playing in that area. So you can only assume that this could be be the first guy that that scout has had a say in so this signing to me is really interesting and I think this could definitely work out well for Arsenal at a time where we've got a couple of aging midfielders that we maybe need to be moving on probably in January but definitely in the summer but I think if we can get rid of one of them or even if we can do something in terms of how much we can spend this window anyway, even without moving one of them guys on, I think this is definitely a deal that Arsenal should be looking at. So he's a centre defensive midfield player playing for Boca Juniors and he's only 21 years old. So this is the perfect age profile for Arsenal to be looking at. So say if you can get rid of a Jorginho, you're not going to get much in terms of uh, gathering a return in fee, but you can definitely expect his wages would be a lot more than this Ezekiel Fernandez is we're paying Jorginho probably up to 200k a week this guy from Argentina will not be costing anywhere near that so yes you're going to be paying an initial transfer fee of 13 million pounds but you're actually going to be saving so much more in terms of weekly wage packet that this deal actually can become feasible if we do get rid of one of them central midfield players. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this deal and I think it's definitely an interesting one because of the player's potential, because of the fee. I just like everything surrounding it and I would certainly rather have a player that's 21 years old playing in that more squad role position in central midfield. We know a Jorginho or an Elneny is not really a long-term option. They're only going to be playing sporadically so to have a younger player in there who could learn the ropes from some of the best players that we've got, like a Thomas Partey, like a Declan Rice, to me, this deal just makes so much more sense than having an Elneny or a Jorginho. But let me know your thoughts on everything you've heard in this video. What do you think of the Tomiyasu story? Do you think that will force us to try and enter the market for a defender? And what do you think about this Ezekiel Fernandez? Do you think this is the right profile of player that Arsenal should be targeting? Let me know in the comments section. And as always, thanks to everyone for watching and listening. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would just before you 
you go and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.